Thank you, Mr. Chair. My question is for Director Ash. I was reading your, your bio, and I see that you're a, a fellow duck hunter. And uh, my, my question for you, have you ever duck hunted in the flooded green timber reservoirs of Arkansas? Um, I have hunted the Cache River um, refuge, and so I've hunted flooded timber in the Cache River. And, and for the record, is there any better duck hunting in North America than? <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to beat, believe me. That's a good it's answer. Beautiful. <laughs> so, um, the Felsenthal Refuge is in, in my district, and I would like to commend you and the, the uh, service for the work that they've done there on the, the uh, shortleaf pine blue stem grass uh, ecosystem restoration project, which is really a win-win-win um, situation that's uh, creating more healthy forest, it's creating better uh, red cockaded woodpecker habitat, plus increasing biodiversity, which also makes more turkeys and deer and things that people like to chase around down there. But um, also in, in your written testimony, you said that uh, you wanted to help more urban dwellers rediscover the outdoors. And I understand down at Felsenthal there is some issues with a regeneration of, of hardwoods uh, when, when it's flooded every year. And there's a plan in place to do periodic flooding, but the, the residents there tell me that it's been at least six years since since y'all flooded that uh, that reservoir, which is a huge economic negative impact on that area because of the people that there are so many people that hunt there, and uh, it's only flooded by natural flooding, uh, usually towards the end of duck season. So uh, I was just wanting you to uh, maybe you'll have to get an answer for me, but to be able to explain why y'all aren't flooding that more often, and I've I'm, Pretty sure it's not a uh, budget issue because all you have to do is raise a uh, a gate on the on the levy there. Um, so that's that's the first question. And to follow up with that, you also requested a uh, 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 increase in duck stamp prices. And you know it's pretty hard for me to explain to my constituents why you want to uh, raise the price of duck stamps when they don't have a place to duck hunt. Um, so wouldn't it make more sense to go ahead and flood the reservoir, get more people coming in and sell? You know, we've got a little business in Arkansas called Walmart, and they, they work on this model of, of low price and more, more quantity. So if you sold more duck stamps at a lower price, you could maybe achieve a better result than higher price and fewer duck stamps. Well, on, the, on Felsenthal, I, I will get uh, information for you. I know from an, in past years, I've, I had, uh, I've had some discussion about Felsenthal, and sometimes the issue is when we bring the water up, it's hard to get it out, and if we have water on those trees for too long, it, it tends to kill the trees. And so, but, I, but I will find out your, your question is about the last six years and what kind of flooding regime we've been able to implement, and I'll, I'll, I'd be happy to come talk to you. We could share some duck hunting stories too. Um, I think on the duck stamp, I, I do want to say uh, thank you to this committee because it was the, the committee and the and the Congress that provided the leadership on raising the price of the duck stamp. And and so, you know, when we as hunters, we depend on those birds coming back every year, and that those dollars go right to the ground and support. When, when there's not any water, they just go right on over down to Louisiana. Well, well they do go to Louisiana. Off. I think yeah. that, but. <laughs> Well, I think the, the, uh, the, the hunting community has supported the price of the duck stamp. I was just at the Ducks Unlimited uh, Board of Directors meeting this past weekend, and uh, Ducks Unlimited and its uh, 650,000 members all supported the increase in the price of the duck stamp. I think that's a win for duck hunters across the board, but, but I understand what, what you're saying. Um, I always tell people I hunt in the Atlantic Flyway mostly, so, uh, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm always envious of Arkansas. All right. I'll yield back my time.